Hi everyone, I'm on the Magic Gun. Today I'm going to be doing the planner for the month of July. So to start with, I'm pinning up this sticker that is a calendar. I got it from Daiso, but you can always uh, draw it yourself. After that, you've already seen that I have pre-drawn everything that I need to fill in with colors. I'm going to be using watercolors for mo the majority of this month. Um, so the month for this, the theme for this month, so the theme for this month is going to be Sugar Chara. So right now I'm doing the three main um, Chara characters that she has, which is going to be Heart, Clover, and Spade. So that's what I'm coloring in right now. Then after that, I went ahead and started coloring the background. These ones are also going to be the same colors that I use for the symbols. I'm just going to try not to clash the colors as much. So this one, this blue one is going to be for uh, Mickey, which is going to be Clover. Then the mid portion is going to be for Ran, which is Heart. I decided to make this one the biggest section since I think that's the character that she uses the most. Um, Cure Heart or Cure... Is it Amulet Heart? Amulet Heart, sorry. Amulet Heart is the one that she uses the most, so that's why I, hit, that's why I decided to add the most pink out of all the three. And then the other corner is going to be for Sue, which is going to be uh, Clover. So after that, as you see, I still have like some gaps which are stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and color those in with the red. This is what's gonna represent Amu. Um, there's a lot of pictures and wallpapers and fan art and official art that has like this kind of like uh, checker pattern or gingham pattern. Um, so that's what I'm trying to emulate right here. So the red is gonna be for Amu. Okay, so after I'm done coloring them, I did leave them uh, to dry a little bit and now I'm just going to go ahead and outline all my designs. So I'm going to do the shapes as well as the ribbons. So now I'm going to start actually filling out the design. I'm using a Crayola dual tip marker on purple. Um, you can use any color that's close to the shade of red. But for me, I decided to use this one. And what I started doing is I just went ahead and used a, the marker on the thicker side. So instead of using the tip, I'm using the side of the marker to make like this thicker lines and then after I'm done doing my um, my checker pattern I'm gonna go back and do it with the tip again to give a secondary layer of the checker pattern so I'm just gonna be using the tip and I'm gonna be doing the same um, stripes so that's gonna give it a more like punk design in a way and it's trying to simulate uh, the one that Amo uses in the show Again, if you want to do this once a little bit more neater, you can always use a ruler. 
Now this one, I had this sheet of stickers, they're labels from uh, Sugar Char for a long while. And then this other set is actually from um, Ocean in Space Patreon. So I'm gonna be using those um, to do my headers. So I just went ahead and used the label stickers for each one. Then I'm just gonna write uh, the month, which is gonna be July. And then for my shapes, I'm gonna do it for different trackers. So a to-do list, a social tracker, and a music tracker. Finally, I went ahead and added one of the Ocean and Space stickers, as well as his complimentary sticker, which is gonna be this like slash of paint that she uses. Then some sparkles that came also in the sticker sheet. And that's it for my monthly overview. Now for this um, tracker overview, again, I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I do for most of my printers because that's what works best for me. But if you wanna add your own trackers, you can always modify it to fit whatever you need the best. So the first thing is gonna be my bio tracker, um, which is the one that I use for every single month. It's a very simple um, tracker, so it's nothing complicated. I just said squares and rectangles, the squares for the dates, and then the rectangles for what it actually is. Then on the bottom one, I actually started using this like meal tracker, and I want to incorporate a meal plus weight tracker. Um, obviously, I didn't have enough space to write down all the 31 days on a row, so I decided to divide it in two. So I did uh, 15 days on one side and then the other 16 days on the other one. So just to make help it pop out a little bit more, I did went ahead and outlined all my letters. So I'm just writing down my numbers and then to help it uh, separate the numbers, I'm actually going to be coloring every other uh, day with a color just to make, help it divide it a little bit better. Now for my tracker, this is going to be my mood tracker. And at the beginning, I was actually thinking about going more towards the egg shape tracker. But at the end, I decided to do the Humpty Lock. And I'm actually gonna be using the crystals inside the lock for the different days of the tracker. So I just went ahead and drew um, the Humpty Lock as best as I can. And I didn't follow the original um, crystal design true to the show, because I did divide it in 31 days. So that's why it's not gonna be as exactly as the one in the show. So as you see here, I did pre-drew the lock in pencil, so I'm just going in over I'm just going over it with my liner. Then here I did try to um, fill in my mood colors with the pen, but it ran out, so I just um, dropped it. And later on, I'm actually gonna use like a marker to do so. So the one thing about the Humpty Lock, it is a gold color, so I just went ahead and color in every single part that is actually not gonna be part of the mood tracker. So it's all the like the borders and then the inside lock. Those are colors that I'm not gonna be like filling in throughout the month. So I just felt comfortable like coloring now already. And then I think this one was very fun. So the sticker sheet that I had previously has all the four eggs. I think they were good uh, color indicators for my mode. So that's what I decided to use. You can always also draw them or just use different colors or patterns to indicate your moods. Now this sheet, it looks very, very simple. It's actually very easy to make. 
and it's something that I'm trying to do with my I think previously I did it with a pretty cure um, monkey that I did before but this one's gonna be my outfit of the day tracker so this is one of those that um, I wasn't sure what else I wanted to track but I always try to um, change my last trackers to make it fun and different every single month so for this one I just drew 31 eggs so each one of each one of them for each day of the week so what I'm planning to do here is I'm actually gonna be drawing my OTD inside every single one of the eggs and the ones that I don't feel like drawing I'm just gonna go ahead and color or yeah color or draw one of the actual eggs from the show Okay, so this next is the first wiggly spread, and it's so funny. This one's actually inspired by uh, Peach Rich Melody, uh, Peach Melody Mermaid. I always have a hard time saying that. But what did you see here? I did drew the shells that they actually have on the show. So I drew 11 of them because my first wiggly is going to be 11 days. Um, and I just went ahead and colored them with different colors to represent each of the different uh, girls on the show but yeah so what I was gonna say that it was funny is because I actually announced I don't know if it's gonna be a continuation or a remake but we got new news about the pitch melody show is making a comeback I don't know in what form but it's something that just gonna announce not long ago so that's very like the irony that it got announced and I'm making a spread out of the same show Okay, so after I'm done coloring the shells, I am going to be coloring the whole background with this underwater effect, so I just color the whole page blue. Okay, so once I'm done uh, coloring the background, I went ahead and outlined all my shelves once again with a liner marker. Um, this is going to help the shelves stand out a little bit more. And these are the shelves that I'm actually going to be using for my days. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more details, not that many, but I am adding like stars and then like a coral on the corner and then like this little fish and a yellowfish just to try to fill in more the space 
and not to have that much empty space here. So finally, after that, I'm just gonna be writing, filling in my dates. So I'm gonna use an abbreviation because the full word doesn't really fit on the shelves. So I just use the top space of the shelf to write my dates. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm gonna be adding the sticker. The sticker is actually by the artist um, Butter Sticks. As again, all the information for every single artist is gonna be in the description box down below. Okay, now for this next spread. This is one of the easiest months I feel like I have done so far. So this one is gonna be a tear marjorie from Hogato Cure Inspire Sheet. So it's gonna, as you see me drawing, it's gonna be very simple to make. So I just drew four lines across the sheets. I just drew four lines across the paper. And then I added some circles and hearts. And then here on the bottom one, I'm actually drawing her Mirai Crystal, the one that she uses to transform. Now the circles and the hearts that I added on the top, they're actually inspired in one of her official idol, um, Art. And so that's what I decided to do those then I just went ahead and fill in with a liner the July and then the days that I'm actually gonna be doing for this uh, weekly spread and then I just went ahead and actually wrote down the dates Now because there's only seven days, the last one I decided to leave it for notes. So I just went ahead and colored the crystal the mirai crystal. So I just went ahead and coloring the mirai crystal. I did decide to use a darker yellow because it's supposed to be like a gold um, color in a way. And then this one's not showing that good, but I did did a outline of red for all the shapes because then the official art is kind of like this fake neon signs that she has on her art. So I kind of wanted to simulate something like that. Then finally, here's the sticker. This one's actually by Momoro. She's an actual artist that I know. So I was really excited that she wanted to collaborate in this project. Okay, so the next spread is another pretty cure spread. I feel like all of them are pretty cure with the exception of the first one. So this one's actually another very easy spread and I feel this spread can translate to any mermaid spread that you might want to make. So what I started doing, I started drawing my seven bubbles. These are going to be my squares for the days that I'm going to be using. Then here in the corner, what I did, this is the... Um, this is the crown that uh, Cure Mermaid uses. So it's kind of like a playoff on like this crown slash M for mermaid, which is, I thought it was very funny and I didn't notice it before until I actually uh, drew it myself. So I just went ahead and colored the whole background blue. Again, it's supposed to be like an underwater theme, mermaid theme. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and colored all, all of it. Then I started uh, writing down the days of the week. And then I just went ahead and finished coloring my little crown. 
So I just tried to pick the colors that match um, the original design the best, but you can use a flat color if you don't have that many options. So I tried to add more uh, details to the bubbles by adding little circles inside the bubbles for like the air that it has. And then finally, um, I'm gonna be adding the sticker. This one's done by Sea Bunnies, which is funny, another sea reference there. Um, and this is your mermaid. Okay, so one mistake that I did here is that I didn't calculate how much space I actually needed before writing down my, my um, date. So I would suggest uh, pasting the sticker first and then writing your dates. So this final one is one that I think is very fun. Um, it would have been perfect for last month, for Pride Month, and it's very, very easy to make. So what I did is I divided the, um, the whole sp spread wig into six different lines and I kind of like curve them because what I'm doing here is I'm actually making like a rainbow. That's basically what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to be coloring with my rainbow colors, primary colors. And then after that, I'm gonna be using my Posca pens. I did change Posca pens here because I feel like the other one show a little bit better. Um, so I'm just writing the days of the week. And for this one, I did forget to actually write the numbers. So you can always write the numbers or you can just leave it like that. Okay, and now because it is also a pretty cure, um, spire um, spread I did wanted to add more details so I started adding a bunch of like different designs or sp of sparkles and sp yeah like sparkles different types of sparkles all around the rainbow And then finally, here's my sticker. This one's by Yolana's BXL. I'm again, like I'm very sorry if I'm butchering any of these names. And the information is always on the description box if you do wanna go and look up more information about each of the artists. But yeah, so that's everything for the month of July. So I'm just gonna be rolling this B footage. And thank you again, everyone so much for watching. I'll see you the next month.